Welcome folks, I'm Ivy Rivera, Psychic Medium. I'm a Taino Arawak and I use a combination of channeling from Spirits in the Light exclusively as well as planetary movements and what the planetary shifts are telling me and my psychic ability to bring you your weekly horoscopes. So you want to check your sun, moon, and rising signs and these horoscopes are for Monday, October 26th to Monday, November 2nd. Have a great week, everybody. Leos, what is going on with you this week? Monday the 26th, there's talk of feminine protection. This does not necessarily have to be a female. This is about feminine wisdom and strength. There is not only protection and strength, which is underlined here, uh, being given to you in addition to the wisdom. It is also potentially about you giving this out to others. And so there could be a situation that you're trying to process and this energy is coming into you from living or deceased ancestors and it can also be that you are paying it forward in a way. Either way, that is most certainly a day of strength and empowerment even if our circumstances don't match exactly what we would want them to. Tuesday the 27th, there's talk of a new home life. This could be you working from home. This could be you finally able to leave the home and go back to the office. This could be a baby, an engagement, someone moving in, someone moving out, upgrades to the house or new property. Regardless, it's new beginnings for all of you. So sun, moon, or rising Leos, depending on how it affects you, it will be positive. Tuesday the 27th, Wednesday the 28th, and Thursday the 29th, we have mutual theme in all three of these days, having to do with you needing to cleanse out what no longer serves you. So be mindful, sometimes literally going down to the water or standing in the shower with Epsom salt under your feet, and then visualizing what you want to let go of can help a lot. Thursday the 29th, there is talk of you being given a key to to a new door. This is going to be a brand new opportunity for some of you, Leo's sun, moon, or rising, depending. But for others, this is you being given a key to something you've been wanting for quite some time. Friday the 30th, there is talk of the time clock. I'm not talking about the haunting hour between 3 and 5.30 in the morning when we're all woken up. That doesn't really count for this, but it would be any other time that you are repeatedly looking at the clock or numbers are following you. You are going to want to Google those numbers and find out what it is that your ancestors and guides are trying to tell you. There's also talk on Friday the 30th of new love coming in. This could be a new love relationship, soulmate connection, or a level up in a current relationship. Friday the 30th into Saturday the 31st, we are looking at a mutual theme on both of these days having to do with female strength and you being able to rely on your friends, your sisters, mothers, daughters, everyone coming together and giving and receiving a certain amount of endurance and positivity and guidance. I feel that this is very needed for you to not only give, but also receive on those days. This is going to see you through to the next level in your life. Saturday the 31st into Sunday the 1st, there is talk of a long haul. You feeling as though you're hiking and going on, going on, but you are at a point where you are almost over the hump and it is really important to keep your eyes on the prize. Sunday the 1st into Monday the 2nd, there's talk of you needing to be firm in a contract, in a conversation, in a verbal agreement. Monday the 2nd, there's talk of end of a cycle, end of a karmic lesson, end of a chapter, closing a door. And later in the evening on Monday, even though that is happening and it does bring you peace, you may have conflicting feelings or thoughts about it. So you are going to want to understand that it's okay to have conflicting thoughts or feelings about leaving something behind in your rearview mirror. That doesn't mean that you are to stall out. Leos, have a great week.